The Affairs' Joshua Jackson and House of Cards' Marshala Ali will soon begin performances in Smart People Off-Broadway. We're here today at Second Stage to find out all about Lydia R. Diamond's new play. You're Joshua Jackson. Yeah. You could pick any role, actually. You could do anything. What was it about this play and you thought, yes, I want to come Off-Broadway to Second Stage to do Smart People? When I read the play, it spoke to questions that I have been asking myself outside of this play. And I feel like we culturally right now are grappling with some of the questions that this this play is dealing with. Talk to me about the world of smart people. Where's it set? It takes place pre-Obama, his first term. So about 2007, 2008, spans over the course of a few months. And it takes place in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It follows the lives of four very smart people who sometimes uh, don't do the smartest of things. The play is essentially about uh, race relations and gender politics and privilege in America at that time. The world that Lydia creates within within that reality um, is, is, is a, a group, an intimate group of, of very honest people um, who have these very deep and organic conversations about, about race. Um, they're not precious. Uh, about it, they're just, um, this is just how these people talk and you're introduced into that very quickly and I think you're able to settle into accepting that that is their world and that's how those people communicate. Why do you think smart people will speak to audiences? I think it will speak to us because it's, a, it's, a, it's like holding a mirror up to us as, uh, as Americans. Uh, uh, those of us who care about diversity, those of, who care about uh, uh, all of us getting along, um, it's an important time if you look at what's happened in the last six or seven years just in our community. You've got an incredible cast, haven't you? I mean, that's been a dream come true when you saw them put what, what Kenny put together here. Oh, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous how talented these people are. We know that Kenny's talented and I've had a chance to work with him before, but these are four of the smartest, smartest actors and they happen to all be gorgeous, which has been quite nice for rehearsals. <laughs> How's the rehearsal process been so far? So far, magic. I mean, you know, it gets a little bit more nerve-wracking day by day as we get closer to curtain. Because of the topics, you know, these are not easy discussions to have. And, because, and, and frankly, we are all uncomfortable in some way in having them. And we talk about them quietly or we talk about them with close friends only and we know all the right things to say in public. So imagine jumping into a play that goes right to the heart of these things with people whom you don't know and having to say day one, okay, everything's on the table. And I have been impressed with everybody's um, emotional honesty and, and intellectual honesty to put all of their stuff on the table and move on from there. What can audiences expect from smart people? To laugh at some things that might not be too funny because they're true. I would hope that it inspires them to engage in conversation or deeper thought about some of the things that uh, that the characters bring up. There's no answer to how to fix uh, racial inequities and and institutionalized privileges and gender dynamics. We're not pretending to answer those questions, but they're topics that we're all grappling with, and hopefully you'll walk out of there with a little bit of insight.